The Night of Dread, haunted by Bloody Mary. It was Friday the 13th, a night notorious for its ominous reputation. Three adventurous friends, Sarah, Lily, and Emma, decided to dedicate the evening to their shared love for horror stories. So they planned it accordingly. Excitement filled the air as they gathered at Sarah's old, creaky house, where a full-length antique mirror adorned the wall. Their plan was simple, but thrilling. They would summon the legendary spirit of Bloody Mary, a ghostly figure rumored to appear in mirrors when called upon. The girls wanted to experience the spine-chilling thrill of confronting the supernatural firsthand. As midnight approached, the girls gathered around the mirror, their hearts pounding with a mix of excitement and trepidation. They repeated the words they had heard in the tales, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, each time louder than before. Suddenly, the atmosphere in the room changed. A cold draft swept through, and the mirror seemed to shimmer with an eerie glow. Sarah, feeling a sense of unease, suggested they stop. But curiosity got the better of Lily and Emma. Ignoring Sarah's plea, they continued to summon the spirit, each time growing more daring. In the reflection of the mirror, a faint, shadowy figure appeared. Panic spread among the girls, but they couldn't tear their eyes away. The figure became clearer, and a sinister grin spread across its face. The dreaded Bloody Mary had seemingly answered their call. Fear overwhelmed them, and a wave of terror washed over the room. At that moment, something inexplicable occurred. Lily and Emma suddenly collapsed to the floor, lifeless and still. Sarah gasped, paralyzed with horror, as she watched her friends lying motionless before her. But the terror was far from over, as if under some otherworldly influence, Sarah felt a malevolent force taking control of her actions. She found herself guilty and harmful to everyone. Panicking, she fought against the horrifying compulsion, but the force was relentless, and her actions were no longer her own. In a nightmarish blur, Sarah witnessed herself committing unspeakable acts. The once joyous gathering turned into a night of unspeakable horror, and when dawn broke, only Sarah's lifeless body remained in that room of terror. The tragic events sent shockwaves through the community, and investigators struggled to make sense of what had transpired. As they delved into the girl's history, a chilling revelation emerged. Sarah had a family history of mental illness, and her fascination with horror stories had fueled her already fragile state of mind. The local legends of Bloody Mary had taken root in Sarah's troubled psyche, and her obsession with the supernatural had led to a horrifying sequence of events. It was a tale of a mind consumed by fear and darkness, haunted by the twisted belief that summoning Bloody Mary was the path to power and control. The night of Friday the 13th left an indelible mark on the community, serving as a grim reminder of the consequences of dabbling with forces beyond human comprehension. It stands as a cautionary tale, a chilling reminder that some legends, once unleashed, can take on a life of their own, leaving behind a trail of sorrow and despair.